We were in Bavard, North Carolina a few weeks ago, and I saw this little car in an antique shop, and I was smitten. I fell in love with this little thing. Um, I took a bunch of pictures, and we left, and later on, I did some research, and it's made by, it was made by a company that made lots of them. Um, I forget the name of the company, but a lot of people call them Shriner cars because the Shriners love to drive them around in parades. And you can buy them on the internet, on uh, eBay. They go for just under $2,000. And probably the smart thing would be to buy one, but I'm kind of hard-headed, so I'm going to try to make one. Now, I'm kind of in the middle of the memorial commission, uh, my wife's art, but it turns out that the ring that holds up the children is a little too bouncy. I'm a little concerned about putting it in a public space like that, so I'm going to cast more ring segments and double up the ring to make it twice as strong. So that's going to take a couple of weeks of dipping where there's not a whole lot to do during the day. So once again, I'm starting a big project before finishing the previous big project story of my life. This is step one of the little Model T kid car build. I purchased this riding mower for 35 bucks. Um, and it has the steering linkage that I need, the kingpins and stuff that I would have a hard time making because I don't have a machine shop. It's got this nice piece of louver. might be able to use it. It has a nice plastic gas tank, which I hopefully can use. It's a good size. I believe it has a real live differential on the back, which is a necessary thing for a cart to drive correctly. And it has a transmission with seven speeds. I don't know how that works, but it does have a forward and reverse. So I've never dug into one of these things, but uh, we're going to take it all apart, keep the goodies, and get rid of the junk. And I have a steering wheel, which I won't use, but embedded in this plastic is a spline, a metal spline uh, female. And it fits the spline on the end of the steering shaft. The steering shaft has a little worm and there's a gear. So that's maybe might come in handy. A good key switch with the plug. Um, two back wheels. My plan was to cut these rims and use that center part to build the wooden uh, spokes off of and they may or may not work depending on if I use the axles from the transaxle. The two front wheels were disappointing in that they're um, they don't have bearings they have bushings so I won't use them. Uh, I got some scrap iron which I can put out at the street and it'll disappear in like 10 minutes from all the scrap iron. Guys. I got lots of linkages and rods and pivots that I may or may not use to connect the motor and the transmission up to the um you know the pedals and everything so i'll probably use a lot of this random stuff it's the most important thing a rear differential and it seems to be in good working order um it also has gears forward and reverse which is shifted by this little thing right here it has a little um disc brake that hangs off the side of it and it's mechanical that probably won't be good enough for stopping a, a moving cart but it might be good for a parking brake and, and it's a true differential um, it has looks like bushings here instead of bearings um, I was, would prefer bearing but it's too narrow so when I move these shafts out or add to them or whatever I'm going to do, there'll be a bearing out here which will hold the weight of the cart. So these bushings are mostly for torque, and I'm thinking a riding lawnmower should be designed for plenty of torque with a 16 horsepower engine. So that's the main part. Um, the front steering, the front steering was a little disappointing. It's kind of crap. Um, it's plastic bushings and they're all worn out and it's a uh, it's a weird shaft I don't know if I can bend that to 90 degrees and use it it's designed like that so when you're on a riding mower and you turn it raises the outside front wheel 
So we have a new project here, uh, different, challenging, intimidating. Uh, let's get started through the computer and doing some research. Thanks for watching.